हेलो स्टूडेंट नाउ आई कम विद द सिक्स चैप्टर द सिंगल वीडियो द सिक्स चैप्टर द सिंगल पार्ट लाइफ प्रोसेस इन क्लास टेंथ सब्जेक्ट बायोलॉजी लाइफ प्रोसेस यू नो दिस इज़ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर इन क्लास टेंथ देर आर नंबर ऑफ प्रोसेसेस व्हिच आर इंडिविजुअली हैविंग इम्पॉर्टेंट in your syllabus in class 10 in ncert in class 10 science so here it is a life and processes this chapter indicate the title the life processes that means number of process are there that are collectively we related with the life so life process the processes which are which important for continuity for maintenance the all the functions of the life that are collectively called life process the processes which maintain the functions of life That means all the biological functions. What are the what are the functions that are related with the life that are collectively called life processes? The processes which maintains the functions of life. That are collectively called life processes. Now here the question is, what do you know about the life or living? Life or living? From the junior classes, you know. The livings you can distinguish the living and non-living. But here the something definitions is quite different. In the sense, your level is study level of study is now is higher than then in, in in lower level of your study. Now we can define life in various aspects in different view. What are the different view about the life? How you can distinguish the livings or life from non-living things? So that is most important before the processes we are discuss about the processes we should discuss about the life we trace out the life what is life or living you know this is science so each and every explanation should be scientific now life in the sense in each and every aspects of the life so we define here life in sense of physics one physicist how define life according to physics life is an open system that is according to chemistry life is a chemical pool that is in the sense of biology according to biological concept what is life life is the center for metabolism so this is the most important things in biology life is the center for metabolism so you know different definition in different type of definitions or explanation about the life now in details we go through these three point discuss today life is an open system in as a physicist he whenever he define the life then he expresses that life is nothing it is an open system so what do you mean by open system so before open systems we discuss about the system you know the system means where matter and energy interact that is called system 
Now this matter and energy interaction takes place in two view. One is open system, another is closed system. Now, in your level, whenever you are you have not any idea about the thermodynamics, so this is the most important things how you can consume it. So matter and energy, there are two things universe in your universe. There are two things is ultimately universally true. What it is, what existence, one thing is matter, another thing is energy. This matter and energy, you know, these are very closely related things. Matter can transform into energy, energy can transform into matter. And that's why the whole of the matter and energy is constant in world, in earth. Or you can compare with the universe. So matter and energy, this one thing are interact with another. That means matter can change into energy, energy can change into matter. So that is called system. So now what do you mean by open system and closed system? Now open system means the systems where the during the transformation of energy, that means one form of energy change into another form, some amount of energy must be released from the system. Then such system is called open system. For example, all living. That means all living things are collectively called open system. Whereas closed system, during the transformation of energy from one form to another form, it never release any such amount of energy from the system. Then that's why it is called closed system. Now this closed system examples, very popular example, all non-living, even it is you can compare it with the machine. All non-living are collectively called closed system. So life is an open system. It is proved by physicist. Now in can the point of chemistry. Life is the life is a chemical pool. Life is a chemical pool pool chemical and pool that means storage center life is nothing it is a storage center storage center of chemicals number of chemicals or bag of chemicals then it is called storage center means pool so chemical pool life is nothing it is a mass of chemical and where the one chemical interact with another, that is through the chemical reaction. Now, in chemistry, it is talk about the non-living elements or the molecule or the compound. Whenever interact with one another, that is called chemical reaction. So, here it is a chemical pool in the sense that number of chemicals are stored in a particular place. That is nothing that is called life. Now, come to the point in sense of biology. Life is the center for metabolism. You know, metabolism. Life is the platform, life is the place where metabolism must be found. Then you call it is life. So, what do you mean by metabolism? Metabolism is nothing. It is the sum total of all biochemical reaction that takes place in a living or in a single cell. Life may be single cell, may be multicellular. So, either it is single cell organisms or unicellular organisms or multicellular organisms. Whatever the chemical reaction, that means chemical interact, that's sum total of all such biochemical reaction are collectively called as metabolism. Now, this metabolism, 
is the identification or so the determinant of life. So metabolism is the determinant of life. That is a you can define this metabolism effect or metabolic effect in life under two heading. One is anabolic. Another is catabolic. So any type of reaction which takes place in life, either it is anabolic or catabolic. So here ana means building process or formation. Ana is related with the formation or synthesis. Where scata means breaking. So one is formation or synthesis process, another is breaking process. Whatever the biochemical reaction takes place in life or in a single cell organisms or multicellular organisms, either it may be anabolic or catabolic. Now here the question is, whenever anabolic, whenever catabolic, that depend on, on the demand of life or living organisms. So all such, the root of the all processes is metabolism. So metabolism is, can define life. So whatever the biochemical reactions which are related with the synthesis and which are related with the breaking, they are collectively called as metabolism. Now one example, I give you one example that can define why it is anabolism, why it is catabolism and what the exact definition of anabolism and catabolism through one example. You know, one of the important biochemical process which takes place in living world, that is a, you know, that is anabolic and catabolic can define, you know, the carbon dioxide and water. These are the two compounding, compound the molecular form which are called inorganic chemicals. These inorganic chemicals, whenever we interact or react in the presence of some condition, just for example, in case of radiant energy, in the presence of sunlight or radiant energy, by the presence of some pigment, photosynthetic pigment, that's our, this inorganic substance can transform into glucose. Now we have the question is, this is the molecule, six molecules of carbon dioxide, six molecules of water, whenever interact, then inside of a living body or the living shell or living component, that they develop a compound that is called glucose. Now, this glucose.